going on everyone so happy september 1st yes we are in the month of september and that means fall television is returning and mostly summer television has ended or will be ending so have my uh, buddy shane here and we're going to discuss uh, what we thought this year um, of the summer television shows and lineup shane you can start uh, I watched Preacher on AMC. It's a very messed up show, but I do recommend watching it. It's really messed up though, so there's your warning. I watched Animal Kingdom, um, Shooter on USA, Teen Wolf, Final Season, uh, Game of Thrones, obviously, Mr. Mercedes, uh, and then on Netflix you got Friends from College, Glow, and Ozark, and I believe that's all my shows. That's all your shows? Yeah. You, did you set any expectations? Were you disappointed? Were you more impressed with one? Uh, I think I pretty much met all my expectations or uh, was higher than them. I think Glow is one of my new favorite shows along with Mr. Mercedes. Shooter's first couple episodes were okay, a little rough, but after that it picked up. It's been great after that. Um, I will say Teen Wolf's kind of been disappointing. I think really? Just, you think? Yeah, I think, um, uh, what was it, the first half of season six? I feel like that should have been the finale. Now it just feels like they're just doing this extra thing to hit 100 episodes, and it, it's not that good, I'm not going to lie. I'm not really enjoying it. So what would your favorite show of the summer be? Oh, Game of Thrones, for sure. No and question. your least favorite? Mm, hate to say it, but probably Teen Wolf. Okay. All right, and you're looking forward to fall television? Oh, yeah. More so than the summer lineup? Mm, a little bit. Game of Thrones was on in the summer, so. Yeah. Yeah. And now it doesn't come back for another year. At least. At least. All right. Well, I think I have a little bit more. Uh, my summer TV 2017 uh, lineup, I'll go with the schedule first. Sunday was Teen Wolf and The Strain. Monday, Midnight Texas. Tuesday, The Fosters and Animal Kingdom. Wednesday, Salvation, Snowfall, and The Sinner. Thursday, Nashville, The Mist, and Zoo. And then nothing on Friday and Saturday, and on Netflix, Ozark and Shameless. I've uh, binged, well, I binged Ozark, and I'm binging currently Shameless. The two movies, Descendants 2 and Death Note on uh, Netflix for Death Note and Descendants 2. And I have to say, you know, I set the high expectations for... The Mist, and I was highly disappointed. I mean, I, I did enjoy, I, I told you the one day, I did enjoy the visual effect of it because I had never read uh, the story, but I was disappointed. It just felt like it just kept spinning in circles, spinning in circles, they, they lost interest, and the ratings, I don't think it'll be re, uh, renewed for a second season on Spike, but Spike did take a chance, and I'm glad they did. I even tweeted that the other day when I finished it. Uh, so... Snowfall, Lost Interest. Yeah, same. I guess I watched that I, too. I don't know. I watched Three the episodes. pilot and it was just like, no, nope, this is not going to, even on the DVR. Uh, the Bold Type, I DVR'd that and then I didn't even watch that. Salvation, I really enjoyed in the beginning, but now I feel like it's just redundant for, of course, a CBS show. Uh, Midnight Texas lived up to my expectations so far. Uh the True Blood creator, so I think those elements with NBC and just the supernatural, it's it's a unique uh, story and, and world and atmosphere. I would say out of the new ones, The Sinner on USA. I mean, The Sinner just, it's on Wednesdays at 10. It's an uh, eight uh, episode uh, miniseries. I do believe it's come back from a second season from an article I saw today. The creator um, was actually the creator of the Astronaut Wives Club. And that show didn't really go anywhere, I don't think, um, if I'm wrong, correct me. But The Sinner, definitely, with Jessica Biel. She's not in Seventh Heaven anymore. It, it's a mystery. It's drama. It's thriller. I have other friends into it. They're texting me. So The Sinner would, have, would be my favorite out of the new. I would say the worst to me just was Snowfall. I lost interest right away. That just got picked up for season two. Uh, so. Of course it did. Well, that's, that's good. For, for people that watch it, that's good. And then for returning, Animal Kingdom, definitely, I have my review video, thank you for watching if you did. Animal Kingdom, amazing, uh, this season was my favorite. Teen Wolf, I'm, I'm liking bits and pieces, I agree with him on some things. Uh, the Strain, of course, it's in its final season along with Teen Wolf. And then of course The Fosters, and then of course the, um, the series final of Pretty Little Liars, which I had a review video for that. 
And then, of course, Descendants 2 lived up to my expectations. I had a review, review video for that, and I have not done my Death Note one, but I will do that. I have one on my channel. Go watch it. Yes, he does. He does. So, you know, that's summer television has never been... Oh, and Zoo. I forgot to put Zoo in there. Uh, I lost interest in Zoo, too. I don't know. There's just something about the CBS shows. They're just those procedural dramas, even when they're trying to be unique. So, but definitely The Sinner, and I would say Animal Kingdom for a returning show. I'm looking forward to next season. Of course, uh, we'll do a review video on the final of Teen Wolf, since we both watch it. And, of course, I'll have one on The Strain. Uh, and The Fosters, of course, is next Tuesday, the season finale. So, yeah, summer television, uh, some of it was disappointing, but some of it was also um, entertaining at the same time. I did watch Death Note on his recommendation. I enjoyed it. Uh, I, mm. you, you said it was mixed. Yeah. Mm. I like the villain, of course, the villain. Uh, and, yeah, so that, that's, that's summer. Uh, definitely... Uh, watch his channel. He's definitely movie king, and I'm the master of television. I'm more the television. He's more the films. So watch his channel. What is the name of your channel? Uh, just my name, Shane St. Laurent. All right, and then, of course, uh, follow him on Twitter. Same thing with a one at the end of it. Uh, again, my uh, Twitter is at Adam King of TV3. Again, that's at Adam King of TV3. Uh, you're going to try to promote me on your channel, I hope. Yeah, I'll get around to it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and of course, thank you again for watching my videos, subscribing to my channel if you're into the things I'm in, uh, liking the videos, commenting on the videos. I'm having more comments and likes, so thank you. Uh, just keep it going. It's all for you guys. You know, the love and the support is uh, tremendous. Uh, so, you know, continue subscribing, liking, sharing, commenting. Uh, there's much coming. Uh, we have many things to work on. Of course, Tuesday's American Horror Story, uh, Season 7, Cult. We will have a review video following uh, watching uh, that episode. I think this season, I just read an article, it's going to be one of their best in a couple in a many years. Uh, I feel so, like they say that every year. Just, yeah, you know. but yeah, that is Ryan Murphy. He gears you up and then you could be disappointed. But looking forward to that. And uh, I mean, do you have anything else that you want to regarding summer regarding fall um you said binging shows i'm finishing breaking bad like in the next few days favorite show of all time to me and Watch of course it. i'm on shameless i can't get enough of it even though i'm on season two so binging is definitely the new way to go uh and netflix is definitely uh picking up with that so but yeah share your comments on what shows you watched this summer what you were um what you enjoyed, what you didn't enjoy, uh, what you kept, what you dropped. Uh, if there's something there, you know, with fall, let us know. And again, it's all for you guys. Um, I'm trying to get that review video for uh, Death Note. Uh, but in case I don't, I'm going to try to get it tonight. I've been busy with work. In case I don't, uh, have a good Labor Day uh, weekend. Uh, definitely enjoy it. That's what Labor Day is all about, not working. So, anything else? Nope, I'm good. All right. Thanks again. Like, share, subscribe, comment. It's all for you guys. Have a good night.